friends, today I'm going to teach you how to slice your Tinkercad 3D projects online. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody, this is Kirimoto or Gridspace. You can find it by using a simple Google search. I'm going to delete this file real quick and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. The first thing you probably want to do is pick your device. If you look through the devices, you can see there are tons of devices to pick from. If you can pick your exact device, that is the best. I have made a profile for my Sobol SV06. I'll have steps for making your own profiles in an upcoming video. So this is what slicing software looks like online. If you're working on a PC, I highly recommend you use the slicing software recommended by your 3D printer. There are many awesome options like Kira, Bamboo Studio, or even Prusa Slicer. Real quickly, I'm going to grab one of our projects. You can do that by clicking Files and choose Import. You can pick any project you've created. I'm going to grab this awesome little 3D printable lizard. And just like that, it is available for printing. If you left click, you can look at it from every angle. There are tons of settings you can mess with. I'm going to keep this super simple and we're just going to use the defaults. I'm using PLA, so the numbers that I want are 260. You can adjust that if you've got different filament. As you learn the characteristics of your printer, you may want to adjust those. I am not going to adjust the cooling or anything else, but I do want to show you how you can click and make them pop up. I'm choosing to skip that and the output steps I'm leaving the same as well. Friends, I have tracked down the SD card for my 3D printer. I've got it plugged into a USB reader and now I can plug it into my computer. Of course, when I do, you can hear it connect. And these are the files that are on my SD card. I'm going to click back to Kirimoto. I am going to switch to slice mode. Just like that, it cut it into layers. So now if you zoom in, you can kind of see how that filament is going to look. If you switch to preview mode, if we look down here at the bottom, there is a slider. This lets you show how it's going to happen as each layer is printed. Just like that, though, friends, we are done. We can simply hit export. I'm going to keep the file name that it has, and I'm going to download that to my SD card with the name that's built in. Friends, of course, I hope you found that super useful and now you've got a way to slice your Tinkercad creations even if you're working on a Chromebook. Of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I do have a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down below there, you will find my class, Tinkercad in 20 days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. This video explains everything, but I do want to highlight at the bottom is a coupon code 25HL Tinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any class at cadclass.org. You can visit that site by simply clicking visit now. I do also want to highlight this sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Don't forget also there is a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you're going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.